Macroeconomic Policy Macroeconomic policy is concerned with the operation of the economy as a whole. The goal of macroeconomic policy is to provide a stable economic environment that is conductive to fostering strong and sustainable economic growth, on which the creation of jobs, wealth and improved living standards depend. The key pillars of macroeconomic policy are fiscal policy, monetary policy and exchange rate policy. Let's now go into more detail of these three pillars. Fiscal policy. This is changes in level and composition of government spending and taxation. This is the only arm of macroeconomic policy directly controlled by the government. Monetary policy. Involves changes in the cash rate which influences other interest rates in the economy. Higher interest rates influence consumer spending and thus economic activity. Monetary policy is managed by an independent board of the Reserve Bank of Australia. Exchange rate policy. The value of domestic currency relative to other currencies. This is determined by market forces in Australia since December 1983. Let's look at this graphically. On our x-axis is time. On our y-axis is output for an economy. The government wants stable economic growth as this fosters strong and sustainable growth on which the creation of jobs, wealth and improved living standards depend. However, in reality, the output of the economy fluctuates. During the upswing, there is rising inflation, but falling unemployment. Then, during the downswing, there is falling inflation, but increasing unemployment. Switching between rising and falling unemployment and inflation is bad for the economy. There is no confidence in the market because people don't know what will happen next. People won't spend because they are uncertain of their job in the near future. So, the government intervenes by smoothing out these fluctuations. For example, during an upswing, the government wants to reduce aggregate demand, so they decrease government spending and the RBA will increase the cash rate, which will decrease disposable income. While, during the downswing, the government wants to increase aggregate demand. They increase government spending and decrease the cash rate to increase disposable income, or sorry, the RBA decreases the cash rate. So, macroeconomic policy is designed to smooth out the fluctuations in the output of the economy, creating stable economic growth. This fosters strong and sustainable growth on which the creation of jobs, wealth and improved living standards depend. I present to you the aggregate demand and aggregate supply model. It is similar to, the, to that of markets of any good and services. However, this is an imaginary market for the total sum of goods and services within an economy. Aggregate supply is a total quantity of goods and services firms plan to produce during a given period. While Aggregate demand is the sum of consumption, investment, government expenditure, and net imports, exports minus inputs. Macroeconomic policy shifts the aggregate demand curve. During a downturn, the government wants to increase aggregate demand. The RBA will decrease the cash rate, which decreases interest rates, which increases disposable income, while the government wants to increase government spending. An increase in aggregate demand will shift right from 81 to 82. This will increase economic output from Q1 to Q2 and put upward pressure on prices from P1 to P2, which leads to inflation. While an upswing, during an upswing, the government wants to decrease aggregate demand. The RBA will increase the cash rate, which increases interest rates, which decreases disposable income, while the government will decrease government spending. A decrease in aggregate demand will shift left from 81 to 83. This will decrease economic output from Q1 to Q3 and put downward pressure on prices from P1 to P3, which leads to deflation. To conclude, macroeconomic policy involves the economy as a whole. The goal of macroeconomic policy is to provide a stable economic environment that is conductive to fostering strong and sustainable economic growth on which the creation of jobs, wealth, and improved living standards depend. The three parts of macroeconomic policy are fiscal policy, which is government spending and taxation, monetary policy, changes in the cash rate, and exchange rate policy, which is about our domestic currency. However, exchange rate policy is now determined by market forces. Macroeconomic policy aims to limit the fluctuations in the economy. This is achieved through fiscal and monetary policy.
If the economy is growing too fast, the cash rate will increase and government spending will decrease. While if the economy is not growing fast enough, the cash rate will decrease and government spending will increase. These changes influence aggregate demand, which influences inflation and economic output.